An ER nurse at University Hospital got the very first dose of COVID vaccine given outside of a trial in New Jersey amid fanfare and applause. In mid-December, with vaccine supplies still ramping up and reportedly on course to meet demand, according to estimates at Operation Warp Speed in Washington, New Jersey health officials focused on other issues like setting up vaccination sites across the state and convincing vaccine-hesitant folks to get the shot, especially people of color who've died of COVID-19 at more than twice the rate of whites. I lost my mom to COVID in April. I lost my grandmother last night. I lost a lot of friends, so I'm one of those people that said, you know, if it's going to help, I don't mind. Polls in December showed only 60 percent of New Jersey residents would accept a safe and effective COVID vaccine. I absolutely think that vaccine hesitancy, human behavior, is going to be our Achilles heel in terms of curtailing this pandemic. And so New Jersey embarked on its ambitious goal to vaccinate 70 percent of its eligible population, 4.7 million people within six months. Hospitals and counties opened clinics. The state set up six mega sites, each able to give about 2,500 shots daily. Topping the list of those eligible, Tier 1A, first responders and health care workers. At University Hospital January 4th. We've given over 3,000 doses already. Uh, to individuals here, frontline healthcare workers, uh, and folks who support them who are in contact with patients. Uh, and so the vaccination effort's going extremely well. Meanwhile, under a federal partnership, pharmacy giants CVS and Walgreens would vaccinate another 1A group, staff and vulnerable residents at New Jersey long-term care facilities, where the virus has slaughtered more than 7,000 since spring. It started auspiciously with a 103-year-old nursing home resident getting the first shot in late December. Good job. Yeah. But the pace of vaccinations at long-term care facilities is lagged with hundreds of thousands thousands still not immunized. Both Governor Murphy and residents' families demanded action. So many people don't even have an idea yet when their loved ones are going to be vaccinated. They're punching under their weight, particularly Walgreens, uh, and that's where most of the the, the yet-to-be-used doses are. Both pharmacies claim to be doing their best amid a lot of federal rules and protocols, but even early on, experts already saw other challenges. There are many organizations trying to be on the 1B list, um, which will be an interesting set of conflicts. Uh, so who are the essential people who should be second in line for the vaccine? Good question, especially after the CDC recommended expanding eligibility to include all those over 65 and people aged 16 to 64 with certain medical conditions. Jersey opened up eligibility and demand for vaccinations exploded, just as Operation Warp Speed admitted it had depleted the federal vaccine stockpile. Vaccine supplies plateaued. People got panicky. I'm living in a community where the average age is 78 years old and the anxiety levels are off the charts. Seniors without digital savvy despaired over navigating New Jersey's online vaccination registry and calls swamped a new state COVID hotline. One hospital canceled its first dose appointments. Thousands of people tried and failed to get the few available slots through their provider or local county websites. You have to reload, reload, refresh, refresh. I think I probably hit the refresh button about eight million times. She didn't get an appointment, but a new J&J &J single dose vaccine due to come up for federal emergency use authorization next week holds great promise. And President Biden's plan expects to deliver 100 million shots in 100 days. We are so under vaccinated at this point. And so having more of those pairs of doses really allows people to I think have a little bit of hope and move past some of the frustration they've been feeling. But for now, New Jersey cannot meet the demand for COVID vaccinations. I'm starting to have my doubts for the first time that we'll be able to reach herd immunity by June. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.